welcome to Lee's Crafty Tips. Today I'm going to talk to you about clipboards. Back when I was in college the first time in the mid 80s, I was majoring in French and I had a minor in studio art, which is really black and white photography. But I did have to take the other classes like oil painting and watercolor and all that other media that was just also wonderful and drawing, which I really still can't do very well to this day. Even though I did get a B in that class, I focused. I used to take notes on, let me reach back here real quick, legal tablets attached to clipboards. Now, clipboards is, are my topic of the day. I would take my clipboards and I would embellish them, as we like to call it in the mixed media world. I would take magazines of various sorts, and I brought magazines back from France, and you can actually get magazines now, like at uh, Barnes and Noble and, and such, and even online. You could even actually print out stuff on your computer in different languages. Uh, but I like the, the different quality of the, the papers that you can get from cutting out of magazines. I have Bon Appetit and different card maker magazines, which I get, and sports magazines. I don't know why. I have restoration hardware, because I got curtains from them several years ago. And I have, I found, re I found recently three different clipboards. This one's classic. A calendar on it from 1992. Mm-hmm, we don't throw anything away, any love and goodness away in this house. So I would cut out the clippings and then I would glue them on with basic Elmer's glue because it dried clear. That's what I had back in the mid 80s. And then I went over it with varnish. I don't know where I heard about this, but clear varnish. Don't do like I did, just be careful because you see how it puddled up here? These things have various forms of affirmation on here for me. Um, dare to scale the heights against all odds. I used to be terrified of heights. Join the army, learn to repel. Got over all of that. But crappy but holy. I mean, this is just look at when I read over this, I see I, I, it takes me back to 30 years ago in my life. And I highly recommend doing stuff like this. Little snapshots. And then you can actually, it, this is functional, functional art. I highly recommend you do it for, you, you suggest that your high school age, college age child do, does this. I'm going to get my child who's 12 to do this because she's taking college level classes right now. Art therapy. It's great. And it encourages you to do positive things in the world. It lasts forever. And then you can like hang this with to do things. I have my clipboard on this clipboard right now. I'm still using it with a legal pad with the commissions that I have for cards to do for people. So that's how I'm using it. And I take things off of it every once in a while and read it. And it just makes me laugh like this big crunch crunch on the back. And whoops, I just think that's funny. <laughs> that's just me. Anyway, I'm glad you came to make the video. You could, oh, I plan on the ones that I have now doing it totally mixed media with paints and sprays and maybe just putting cardstock, plain cardstock that I do with sprays and shimmer sprays on before I put the words that I do. So when I do that, I'll probably make a video. You'll see. Anyway, thanks for coming to make the video. Come back and see me. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Yay!